What's going on everyone and welcome back to another ranking tier list video. Feels like it's been a bit since I made one of these, but this time we are going to make a tier list video on the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. This is one I've been needing to do for a while. I was thinking of doing like a retrospective video about all the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, but I feel like <laughs> like the reputation with most of them really tends to be like, oh, London and L London and uh, Vancouver are the best ones in the series, and the rest of them are just whatever, and that's it. It's because I've never heard anyone talk about the rest of the game, so making an entire retrospective on these would not really be fun. So I'm gonna take this my route and just rank the games. And that video I made like back in like 2020, I believe, is rather years old. So I think it'd be fitting to like you know. Um, just make a video on this, so here we go. So, let's just go ahead and get started, let's not waste any more time, and I put these lists in order. <coughs> of course, okay, not really, but regardless, let's just go ahead and get this started. So, here we go, starting this off with the one that started it all, the... the and this was revealed back then, or at least teased, this was a big deal back then. <coughs> <coughs> Basically, Mario and Sonic crossing over in the game? What? That's, that's, that's a huge, honestly, and... Yeah, it's Olympic mini games. I mean, for the first attempt, it worked for for what it is, honestly. But I can't say they're just there's just not much to really do. Play a few little mini games with your favorite character, and yeah, that's it. Also, this game does have Donkey Kong. Well, okay, technically it does, but you don't play him in every event. So yeah, it's a bad game to me. Anyway, regardless, it's a solid B tier. I'll give them respect for their first attempt in the Mario Sonic Olympic games. So yeah, um. And of course, we have the DS version. I haven't played this in ages, but from what I remember, the quality is something, but it is a DS game, so what do you expect? And, um, yeah, that's all I can really remember. And, personally, I probably would play the console version anyway, so both of them are kind of in the same ranking as, like, Middle of the Road. I mean, it's their first one, so, yeah. Alright, next up we have is Mario Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Let's start off with the handheld version. This is where people say the series peaked. And I don't really blame them, honestly. The story mode is amazing, and although I kind of suck at some winter events, I won't lie, this is like one of the best handheld entries, so I can't really say S tier easily. It's really that good. And of course, with the console version, I can say the same. Now, granted, some people say the handheld version is better, and I mean, yeah, it has a solo mode, but I'm gonna be real, I think I play the console version more. Even though I kind of suck at it, but I don't blame anyone. It's it's Vancouver's peak, no matter which version you're playing. So it, call, playing two against each other would be stupid. They're both peak anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, and now we have probably my favorite in the series, honestly, Mario Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. I know a lot of people prefer the Winter Olympics. Here's Liz, whose bladder leaks drop what in the? uninvited. But instead of period pads, she brought poise this ultra coming? thin. Oh. So she can bounce on with Yeah, I love ads. <laughs> um Yeah, London 2012. This is my this is the one I play the most on. I know people prefer the Winter Olympics, which is fair. But I don't know, I kind of sucked at most of them. London, I just prefer playing London, honestly. It's just that good for me, honestly. This is where, in my opinion, the series peaked for me. Really, they're they're fantastic games regardless, but I just prefer London. You know what? Even though I don't think any of them are like above, I, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just play an S anyway. Playing any of them against each other would be stupid. These are definitely the best entries in the series. And I can't say for the handheld version of London, there is a solo mode which makes up for this one honestly. Because the only thing going against it, I think I remembered something, or maybe it was a different version. I kind of forgot. It's been a while since I played London 2012, but it does have some highlights with the solo mode, so I can definitely excuse it for that alone. And also, I don't know, there's just something like one of the versions you only play certain event with certain character. I never really liked that personally. And also the roster has been pretty much the same. That's kind of the only thing going for London really, but either way, I say it's a pretty solid A tier. So there you go. And now it goes downhill from here, baby. <laughs> this is gonna be a very short video, but hey, I don't mind short stuff. Uh, yeah, this game, it's like the weakest, this is like the worst one in the series, and it's Winter Olympics when you think about it. There's definitely some cool moments, at least. Dream events can be fun here, and I didn't even talk about dream events, because, well, yeah, there's a dream event in almost every entry, but, yeah, um, overall, this is just kind of forgettable, and I sold this game when I got it. That's how you know how disappointed I was. 
because the roster didn't change. Most of the events are not that memorable. The music is good, so I'll at least excuse it for that. But otherwise, definitely my least favorite in the series, unfortunately. All right, and now for this one, Mario Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Technically, the handout version came out first, so I guess we'll talk about this one first. This has a story mode, too, which I don't really remember much of it, honestly. So, really, I feel like I put it in C or something, if I'm going to be real. But, and also, this suffers from the, you know, playing a certain character for a certain event. I never liked that, personally. I get that certain characters are better for certain events and all that, but... I'd rather play my favorite character. Well, there's exceptions, like 100 meter, I'll play like a speed character, but... <laughs> you know, I'm gonna play most of my favorites. I'll just pick whatever works, really, so yeah. Anyway, now we have the Wii U version. Now, granted, <laughs> you can see the 3S at least has a story mode, which I guess I didn't think about all the handlers just has some sort of single player X mode. But, the real, real, I honestly have a guilty pleasure. Now, I don't really have a guilty pleasure, even though I said Mario Party 10 was one of my guilty pleasures. I never feel ashamed of enjoying something I like. But this one, I kind of don't mind, personally. Somewhat. The Ross, they add, this, this is when they started adding characters. Unfortunately, for one event. This is what I hated, honestly. I remember seeing Rosalina in gymnastics and like, Oh my god, Rosalina in the Mario Sonic Olympics? No way! And then it was just one event. Granted, it's one of her best outfits, honestly, but man, it's still disappointing I got a player in one goddamn event. So that's the only thing. Either way, though, I do have a somewhat memories with Rio 16, at least on the Wii U more than the 3DS version. So I put it in C still. But I still kind of like it. Above C, at least. I'm not going to put in, I don't know, B tier? Uh, I don't want to be that generous. And last but not least is Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. This is when I wanted to try out the, like, okay, maybe they could actually have hope this time. And then, yeah, I mean, it's tolerable, I guess. I played the story mode, which is kind of funny, but beside that, yeah, pretty forgettable, honestly. <laughs> I don't know if is a term. The retro events are kind of neat, but sucks is only limited because not every character has. I guess it was too hard for certain characters to have picks a uh, retro kind of style. I guess despite someone like besides some existing. So yeah, and um, yeah, that's all I can say. There's only a few plus dream events. Only three of them, unfortunately. And they're not that great, aside from maybe the ski one. And Olympics, yeah, yeah I learned, what, do I need, what do I need to freaking say about this game, honestly? It's just kind of disappointing. So, yeah. Final attempt, though, I still think this is a pretty solid entry. But still, I just put it in B tier. And that's the full ranking of my Mario Sonic Olympic games. All the Mario Sonic Olympic games. And uh, as I'm hearing from the... Uh, from what I'm hearing from rumors, it seems like the series is basically done. On one hand, I'm definitely disappointed because I definitely have a lot of highlights with these, more so than any other Mario Sports series, aside from Baseball Strikers. Those are peak, but... Um, on the other hand, I really do think Sonic and Mario... Mario and Sonic really deserve a real crossover game, honestly, like a platformer. If a platformer is too difficult due to their gameplay differences, an RPG would fit them so well. Basically, Mario and Luigi, but with Sonic. And, like, you know, add extra characters, maybe, for, like, dialogue. It'd be funny. They, like, look what the, the story modes did in these games. That's how you could tell there's a lot of potential for an actual crossover game, honestly. But... Who knows if that's ever going to happen in the future. You never know what could happen, but again, it just depends on the chances and stuff. But despite what the games have went through, I will miss this series, honestly, because I have a lot of memories with Vancouver and London, despite being bad at Vancouver, if I'm going to be honest, which is why I think London is my favorite. But regardless, despite the ups and downs with the series, I honestly have a lot of memories with it. So I can't really hate most of these games, if I'm going to be honest. Soshi 2014 is still the worst one, though. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think of the Mario Sonic Olympic Games? And do you really, really think a real crossover game can happen? Let me know in the comments below. Later, folks.